Hey, I'm Dr. Roos, and I uh, thought I'd do this quick uh, video. Um, you'll uh, see it under the start here. I guess you probably already got there, but um, I'll, be, I'll probably make a few more videos like this, kind of like as updates during the semester. I think I did two, a couple, a couple of them last for this. I, right now, this is the fall semester, at the end of the fall semester, and uh, you know, I want to get this done before you know the Christmas break. Um, anyway, just to I want to kind of do it quickly over the syllabus and explain a few things. You uh, have the option of taking me, I think, for the micro lab uh, in the land on Tuesday at two or Thursday at two. I, we just opened up a Thursday at two section, so I'm not sure if that'll make. There's also a Tuesday evening lab that you could be attending that I, I don't think I'll be doing that lab, someone else. And then for some reason, we're doing one in New Smyrna Beach on that campus, and I won't be teaching that one either. So I think those are the four options, and I'll be teaching microbiology as a hybrid course on Tuesday at the Deland campus. So if you wanted to come to that class anytime you could, right, at it's 11 o'clock in building six uh, in the, on the Deland campus, you could, you could attend that, it would be okay. Or if you had questions, you wanted to speak to me. I have office hours, I'll talk about that too. So anyway, um, these are the videos, and then each week, like this is for week one, which is basically the first week, I, I'll have a list of things that uh, you should complete for that week, right? There'll be a week two announcement, a week three announcement. Like for instance, wow, complete the plea core survey by the 29th. This is just so that uh, I can verify your attendance. It's a it's not a graded quiz. It's in the quiz section, but it's not a quiz. It's just a survey. You're not going to get it. You get points for just completing it, and I use it for assignment number one. There's five other assignments, two, three, four, five, six, that you'll watch a video and, you know, say answer questions to, and then I grade that, right? That's worth 15 points, but not this one. Then so we don't have a section one, so section two video will cover the section two PowerPoint. And that's kind of how I do this course uh, online now. Uh, there are videos for each section I cover. So uh, if like, exam one will cover section two, three, four, five. And uh, <clears throat> there are PowerPoints for each section. There's no no uh, text that you're required to get. There is an online one if you want to use it. Not too many people do. Uh, but the questions don't come from that. They come from my PowerPoints. And like, uh, and I don't know, I'm not doing the all the labs, but the two labs I'm doing, there's a PowerPoint, and then my quizzes and practical will come from the lab PowerPoint. All right, and I'm pretty sure the instructors that are gonna be doing your labs will be following you know, that I'm gonna make their course shell, they call it, right, for the lab, right? There's a separate website for lab. And uh, the quiz, there's quizzes in the labs too, and there's a, an online practical. They may use the online practical. If they wanna make one themselves, I'm not gonna tell them they can't, so. Uh, anyway, then I do have like concept videos that I've made which cover certain top topics, like there's one on immunology. All right, here's the online syllabus. I do have a YouTube channel, and uh, most of the, like, see, lecture videos that I've made, uh, sometimes they are open to the public. Most of them are unlisted, though, so without the link, you can't view the video. So if you go to my online channel, I have over 100 videos on there. And you won't be able to see all 100 of them by going to the channel, but with the links that you use from, you know, that I have here in the lecture videos, you just click on a link and uh, watch the video. Here's all my PowerPoints are there. I've got four concept videos, right? 
they're named after what they cover. There's assignments, right, two, assignment two, three, four, five, and six. There's five videos you watch, and then there are questions that you answer. And then once you answer those questions on the assignments, then you can upload it to the assignment folder for each one of the assignments. And then I grade it. And, I, and what I've done in the past is, it's a way for me to give you some uh, feedback. So I'll, I may uh, <clears throat> say like after assignment number two, uh, give you audio feedback on the assignment. So uh, uh, you, know, you can listen to that. We, we have that option in the assignment folder to make audio recordings, right, in, into the D2L site. So just to keep in mind, there's a flyer assignment, right, and there's a video on how to do that. <clears throat> These lecture video shorts are just videos that I made, originally made, that are not quite as well done as the, the ones I have here, but you could watch them. There's a link to the online text. And then these are some more videos that I didn't make, but just videos that might be helpful. And uh, <clears throat> so I went through, here's the assignments. So I, I used to have assignment one here, but you'll get the points without submitting anything for that assignment, right? You just complete that survey in the quiz. It's in the quiz, under quizzes, right? Click on the link and you'll get to it. But these are the, the assignments. And then there's a written assignment for a flyer as well. <clears throat> right, that's a little bit different than these. These are homework. They're worth 15 points. The flyer, I think, is worth 40 points. If you complete it early, I'll give you 50, 10 bonus points for that. There'll be an announcement about that. Okay, and then under the quizzes, I've got this set up. So that survey, you need to complete by the 29th. I don't know if you can see those dates. Let me make that a little bigger. Uh, by the 29th, the survey. And then, right, we have, <clears throat> yeah, if that's not graded, that survey, you know, it's in the quiz section, but it's, you just complete it, you get the 15 points. And I use it to verify your attendance. So people online, the only way I can verify attendance is to give you an assignment like that. If you don't complete it by January 29th, uh, they might, you know, when they ask me, have you attended the class? And I'll say, no, you haven't. Matter of fact, I might have to move that from the 29th to a date that they want me. It, it might actually be a week before that. So that might, that 29th might not be I'm not sure when they, see they expect us to report whether you're here or not, like verify that. There's always a date, and I'll have to look that up and make sure it's not before the 29th, because if it is, then I'd have to move that date up. But anyway, like these quizzes, there'll be one, two, three, four quizzes before exam one. Exam one, February 12th, it's due, that's a Sunday, and so are all the quizzes. The available, like, you know, you'll see they're staggered. Quiz three for section three and section four, right, are open on the 20, and the 29th, the, the section five quiz doesn't open. Um, anyway, but that's, right, those are, and then section six, <coughs> section six and seven are the only two quizzes that you need to complete before exam two. Right, and they're due on March 12th. That's the, you know, the Sunday before spring break. Then there's a spring break. You'll get that. So these, you know, March 13th, you know, basically is during spring break. Uh, but you'll have until April 9th to complete the next quiz, quizzes and exams. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the website. And then this is the, the syllabus. Yeah, all right, so I'm in building six in the land on the second floor. It's actually 6A. That's my phone number. 
right, and these are the right now my office hours that I plan to have. If the lab on Thursday makes, then my office hours will be 12.30 to 2 on Thursday. Here's the online stacks. There's no lab manual, so don't worry about that. These are the dates. Now the attendance, other, you know, the other time that they're gonna ask me about attendance is after April 4th is the withdrawal date. So if you haven't been, say after spring break, you take a spring break for weeks after spring break, or you don't complete stuff, then I'll say that you're not attending or participating in this class and you'll be withdrawn and you get a W-1. Okay, so that's the kind of thing. I'm not gonna, you know, I expect you to go and read the weekly announcement and participate. And you know, the, the, it's important that after the withdrawal date or two weeks prior to the withdrawal date, you need to be participating in all your classes at Daytona State because everybody gets asked that question. If you haven't been attending class or if you're not participating in an online class, so these are the online quizzes. If you have trouble, call the help desk with any online problems or computer problems. I'm not an IT person. You'll have 10 questions, multiple choice, true, false. They're worth one point apiece. I do give you two attempts to take the quiz and the highest attempt counts. That's not the case with quizzes for lab and it's not the case for exams. You don't get two attempts for them. I would take, I would do both attempts. There'll be questions. You can get, when you take your exam, you may see questions that you had on quizzes. So there'll be four uh, exams. There'll be 50 questions. They're worth two points a piece, each question. And they count toward the thousand points that you can earn for the class and the lab. All right. And then uh, if you miss an exam, I, I probably, you know, I have this makeup exams are, wor are worth 90 points instead of 100 to discourage you from deciding to maybe take it later, get them done. If you miss two, the second one, you're definitely gonna have some issues. So I'm even thinking about giving you less time to take the exam you know, because technically you're not even, you're supposed to get a zero for it. So the negotiation process could be difficult on you. All right, uh, there are extra credit opportunities, but I never give it to one person. I've never done that. Homework assignments. There's actually five homework assignments. The first one is technically just completing that survey. Uh, the flyer assignment. You know, if you have a Chromebook, don't use it, don't save it as a pages file. For some reason, we don't, we're not able to open up pages files from Chromebook, so, uh, but it needs to be a docx, not pages, right? In the, the instructions tell you to use that. It's worth 40 points. And then this is the, the breakdown for your, grade, right, you'll have 130 from quizzes, 400 points from exams, homework assignments come to 90 points altogether, 15 points apiece, the flyer assignment is 40, that comes to 666, and then in lab you can earn 340 points, and I, I figure in lab I'll go over the, the lab syllabus when we have lab, right, so do, I won't be making a video for that. And then if you have 900 points out of the 1,000, you earn an A. If you have 800 points, you get a B. Remember, if you do not participate in a lab, and I have people that do that, right? They don't get, if you have zero points or very few points for your lab, it's going to basically make passing this course impossible. You might be able to squeak with a D. Most people get Fs. So you, you have to participate in the lab, okay? You don't get a separate grade for the lab, right? I only report one grade to write the, your lab instructor does not, does not turn in a grade for you for lab. I do if, uh, if it's not me. But the points, I'm gonna add your total points for lab into the grade book for class. 
All right, and you'll see at the very end what your total points end up being. And I'll make a video about that. So, right, less than 600 if you don't have, right? So, it, you know, it's 90% of 1,000 is 900. 80% of 1,000 is 800 points. The student behavior applies to lab. We don't have to worry about meeting in class for this. And then that's the outline for the course in case you have to, if, if, you know, sometimes people ask me for the syllabus that contains that outline so that they can, say, transfer that this, this credit to uh, another school. And then this is the breakdown of the semester. Exam one, exam two, exam three. These are the titles of the sections that we'll cover. So this schedule is there, if you're wondering. It's the last page of the syllabus. These dates are on Sunday, so all exams and quizzes will be due on a Sunday, like at around 11.59. So anyway, I just want to kind of emphasize the fact that you be sure to go to lab and uh, and if you have lab with me, you know, we can talk and discuss things. If you, if you don't have lab with me and you have questions, you know, call me during my office hours um, or even come by if you live near DeLand campus. And anyway, I uh, hope you have a good semester.